And now, we all look forward to the speech. Good afternoon, families, friends, teachers, staff, honored guests, and my fellow graduates. Bon après-midi, famille, amis, éducateurs, invités d'honneur, et mes chers diplômés. My name is Grace Ma, and I'm humbled to be representing Kelvin's graduating class of 2017 as valedictorian. After four years and an equally long convocation, we have officially reached the end of our high school journey. Today, we have the opportunity to reminisce all together about this journey and to give thanks to all the people who helped pave our path to this very moment. As well as this year's valedictorian, I am honored to be the first recipient of the Alice Osborne Memorial Scholarship, dedicated to Kelvin's beloved teacher librarian, Mrs. Osborne, who passed away earlier this year after a much too brief retirement. Her contributions to our library and our school will always be treasured. So, class of 2017, how do we summarize our entire high school experience in one short speech? Don't worry, that's a rhetorical question. I'm not putting you on the spot for an answer. Certainly, summarizing 780 days of our lives in five minutes is not easy, but at least we will try to do so with honesty, perspective, and the unavoidable occasional cliches. From our bright, nervous, and experimental grade nine year, we sat in countless different classrooms, marked our respective hallway territories at lunch, immersed ourselves in activities, sports, and clubs, and met some of our dearest friends. And we've moved through many of these experiences, whether consciously or unconsciously, with courage, truth, and right. Courage, when we performed at coffee houses, arts nights, class acts, musicals, FTG, and Coco d'Oratoire. Courage for joining a new sports team or making your voice heard at student council. And especially courage for when we decided to bite the bullet and participate in Fear Factor during Halloween. Secondly, truth. Truth is when we fought in the Environmental Action Committee for climate facts. When we always pursued more knowledge in reach for the top. And when we evaluated our own strengths and weaknesses through seasons of volleyball, basketball, badminton, hockey, and track. Finally, right. Right is when we fundraise with Hasta for swimming lessons for refugee kids. When we were part of Spectrum for Pink Day to raise awareness for anti-bullying. When we wore purple with the Gender Studies Club for International Women's Day. Right is when we marched all together as a school to the legislature to exert our right to peacefully protest. Between all our participation in extracurriculars, we've of course pursued our academic goals in the English, French, or Ivy stream, brought our unbeatable energy and spirit to Spirit Weeks, mentored grade nines, and supported our peers during homecoming, band, jazz, and choir concerts, the literature arts book launch, the Vimy Ridge 100th commemoration, and countless other unique Kelvin events. We've accomplished so much together, and the best part is, this is simply the beginning of pursuing our passions, involving ourselves in the community, or trying new events and clubs. And for this beginning, we have parents and guardians, staff and teachers to thank. Parents and guardians, thank you for your support these past few years. You have raised us with the most loving and generous intentions. And today is a testimony that your work, whether that's helping us with homework or picking us up from soccer practice, has undoubtedly been worthwhile. To the administration and office staff, thank you for keeping Kelvin running on his track and for greeting us with a smile, even sometimes when we're late to class. To the student and guidance office, thank you for offering us a safe space to speak of our doubts, our goals, and everything in between and for letting us request more transcript copies than we ever actually needed. And finally, to the teachers. Thank you for being our educators, our role models, and guides through the great complexity that which we call high school. Reminiscing on what all of us have been able to accomplish at Kelvin, it's obvious that your efforts have extended far beyond the classroom. 
Your outstanding dedication to not only academics, but also extracurriculars, <coughs> whether that's for a sports team, a club, or planning for our grad, is a big part of why our experience at Kelvin has had the potential to be as diverse and fruitful as it has been. Being an educator is a noble role, and we are truly honored to have had the chance to learn and laugh so deeply with you. And so, with our reflections drawn out, we must also look forward. But the line between before and after is admittedly hard to generalize. Sure, there are the obvious physical properties like day and night that help us distinguish the passing of time. However, much of our distinction of what has changed in our own life is of our own shaping. Today is simply the official representation of an experience that means something different to all of us. Perhaps you're not really ready to let go of high school, or perhaps you've been ready to peace out of Kelvin for a long time now. Or maybe you have no clue whether you're ready to move on or not. What I'm trying to say is, the essence of convocation happens at a different time for every person. That real transition towards adulthood is personal and special to you. Yet, I'm not denying the important meaning that entails from officially graduating high school and the tangible of changes this phase will bring to our daily lives. And as we are ready to throw our caps up in the air, I cannot help but think back to Mrs. Osborne, who one year ago was also preparing for a new chapter in her life while reflecting back on her years at Kelvin. When I interviewed her last year for the final issue of the paperclip, she told me, but to be honest, there are not many things I won't miss. I'm not leaving because I don't like the job. I've just arrived at a time in my life where I need to do something else. It's a joke among librarians that when they retire, they get reshelved. Well, I'm just going to be moved to something else, but it won't be the end. Her statement, among many things, I think is a symbol of gratitude. And it would be a beautiful thing to move forward, ready or not, like Mrs. Osborne did a year prior with gratitude for what has been and what is to come. To conclude, I'd like to say that folks, we laughed some, we cried some, and we even botched our entrance for grade wars. But always, always, we grew with every obstacle, every setback, every achievement, every experience that we've had at one of our homes for the last few years, Ecole Secondaire Kelvin High School. So, class of 2017, now that all has been said and done, let us throw our caps high up in the air and grow some more. Thank you.